As you might imagine though, table time very much in favour of Wilson. One. We were watching the matches upstairs this afternoon and I was talking to Neil about the fact that I thought that right hand top pocket, if they hit the near jaw, was rather friendly. And that one certainly was. Yeah, they sometimes stay out along the cushions when you hit them with, with pace. That's uh, the real test. Six. Now, if Judd Trump has got a bee in his bonnet about being on table two, he's channeling that annoyance in a very positive fashion. He's second century of the night, and he is going to lead Martin Gould by Twelve. three frames to nil. On fire. I'm not sure Gould has potted a ball yet in that match. I don't think he has. Definitely not. Just an in-off in the second frame. That's it. Oh, dear. 13. That will not please O'Sullivan. Not a good shot. Oh, that's gonna. Right, wow. Sullivan, 13. That looked for all the world like it was gonna finish short. It just crept up in behind it and reached. The turning point when he beat Lee Hang from behind in the semi finals of the Scottish Open last Saturday was Lee Hang failing to nestle in behind a yellow. I thought O'Sullivan was going to do exactly the same. Miss. Judd <coughs> Trump has a voracious appetite for scoring and he's just made a 142 total clearance. So that's the joint highest break of the tournament together with Mark Allens a little earlier in the week. Both of them have come against Martin Gould. Ronnie. Thank you. Oh, this is when Ronnie got so close into the yellow, it's now a very tough shot. This is not an easy way of playing it. Nemes. Some suggestion Ronnie O'Sullivan doesn't uh, agree with the miss rule, but I suspect in 2 0 down, he'll have these put back until something gives. It's very hard when you're swerving directly into the first cushion to get the pace of the shot right. It's very difficult. So third go. When you hit it harder, you see, and the balls come off differently. That's absolutely oh, not miss. within a country mile of hitting a red. And this will be going back again. They might have to think about a different way out of this, you know, because this is absolutely, it's getting worse. And this emphasises the trade-off when you're trying to nestle in behind a ball colour. Obviously, you don't want to take the risk of leaving the cue ball short, but if you can get it right in behind, 
that exacerbates the problems for your opponent. In this case, hefty problems. There's no improvement, is there? Ronya Sullivan, four. Time for a change. The fact that he's got the rest in his hand. Ronnie's roll-up, I mean, for a second, I'm sure he felt it might not get there. But when it did nestle in behind a virtually touching ball, it's given this horrid problem. But this, it must have been a heart-stopping moment briefly. Completely buried in behind this. Point is, we all know one thing, it's not that difficult. If you said to him, I'll give you a fiver if you could hit a red here playing in the club, then he'd hit one. But he doesn't want to hit them and leave the, the frame on. And of course, that is why the misrule exists in the first place. Oh, well, that's one way. <laughs> Three cushions onto the jaws of the pocket and in behind. Not touching. Not touching. Says Tatiana Willis and the referee. It's quite a brave shot to play, and it's not really worked out. You thought you could cover that red with the yellow and brown, but not so. One. Really good pot just floating the red in. A little unlucky that he's on the incorrect side of the blue.
Can still leave a, a mid-range pot though, that you would fancy him to knock in. And the combination of potting the red Six. and getting on a colour here is not an easy one. Karen Wilson, six. Thank you, Ronnie. Well, it's, surely this night gap is over between the yellow and brown. <laughs> it looked like a ball's width only. Well, the cue ball is back in bulk after threading the eye of that needle. But you don't leave these, Wilson. No, there's quite a lot resting on this shot. One. Didn't know anything about where the cue ball was going to end up. Has a shot at the blue. I just have to watch his waistcoat on this shot because there's a few reds could potentially be in the way. Well under his body there, must be quite close to. It kind of makes the shot more uncomfortable, almost trying to arch your back so that you uh, you don't sort of hang over the top of any obstructing balls. No, that's one way of doing it, make the queue longer. Missing all this. Karen Wilson, one. Now I think it's really imperative here, not just for the scoreboard, but for O'Sullivan's spirits. For him to be potting balls. Finding his usual fluency. Now, here's the thing for you. If he could have used the rest on that shot, why wouldn't he, being that he's so Seven. good with it? I reckon he'd have potted that, you know. Eight. Well, not quite at the state of emergency for his game yet, but he really could do with winning this frame here and now. Could have won the previous frame, maybe should have. Ended up a fairly scrappy affair, but now... Fifteen. The chance to get a frame won without too much fuss. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. 
31. 32. 32. Normally when you get to 68, you're pretty much safe, but... All of the points he got early in the frame were via fouls. 40. Over the line now, though. 47. Yeah, I think O'Sullivan is more willing these days to grind out passages of play. And I think he did so in the World Championships. 48. Winning it for a sixth time, it wasn't all sweetness and light. Sometimes he had to dig quite deep. He's 45 years of age now. He's maybe not quite, you know, not quite the 54. force he once was, but he is world champion. And that's 55. because there's a bit more. The ability has knuckled down now than I think he's ever shown personally. Could not agree more. Can you imagine? Had he displayed this attitude in his teens, twenties, <laughs> up to his mid-thirties, that trophy cabinet would have needed to be the size of Essex. Well, for so many years with O'Sullivan, it was all about, yep, yeah, a great player, but where, where's all the trophies? Well, he's got them all now. 66. The numbers have stacked up very big. Tends to pull in there, Brian as done the whole of the time we've been here in Milton Keynes. Anyway, frame over. Yes, he took route 66 to that frame. He breaks his duck. Wilson's lead reduced to 2-1. Martin Gould did not pot a ball for the first three frames, but in the fourth, Judd Trump has drawn a blank. Gould is going to get back to being 3-1 down at the first mid-session interval of the week. Don't write him off just yet. In fact, Gould has got a chance to make what would be the third century in four frames there. Tramps already contributed too. We'll let you know. Now though, back to O'Sullivan. Wilson. Get a feeling this is a... 
very important frame. They all are, Karen we Wilson's know that. Break. Yeah, but if Kyron Wilson didn't end up in front of the mid-session interval, I think he would have felt that he'd missed the boat a little. He's had the better of the chances. Well, Money O'Sullivan's been a little in and out, mostly out. Things like that can nag away at you. If you feel like you've been the better player and you haven't got anything to show for it, it can uh, just make you think not necessarily the right thoughts. Oh, not the double kiss, anything but that. I think the red, I think it hit the, the second jaw. I don't think the double kiss was on. I think Ronnie almost played the containing safety shot there as much as the pod. Just that the red hit the knuckle and went back towards the cue ball. has not worked out perfectly by any means once you've got under there this time it's by the, the swan ah. makes the visit about once a, every three months and probably isn't going to make one here now by the looks of it it's gone again yeah that's the one rest that doesn't really need to be sanitised because no one ever uses it <laughs> <clears throat> so the swan has been replaced by the branding iron Slightly easier to use, maybe, than the swan, but still horrible. Karen Wilson Very back. difficult, wasn't it? Well, O'Sullivan walks around the table. Let me tell you, Gould did make a century. 117. The 28th century of the tournament. Trump goes into the interval, leading 3-1. One. So, key shot if he decides to get into the bunch of reds here. He's got the perfect angle to exploit that chance. Well, is he all right now? Does the red to the right corner go past the black? There's not a lot of pocket there. Six. Black's mostly in the way. I wonder if it goes. No. Not a chance. Got to be a good safety shield. He's got to cover the red that's Sorry, nearest to the black six. because clearly that one would have gone. Karen Wilson is in quite a lot of trouble here. Even Ronnie left his chair to have a look. Well, look at this. He's looking to... I mean, the red goes directly half a pocket, but he's looking maybe to pop the red off the other red and maybe off the black. This would be some shot if he could pull this off. <laughs> it went anyway. That's the point. I don't think he played it what? like that. Tried to pot it off the other boy. You have to be Marvo the magician to play the shot you were looking at. When I came in here tonight, Neil, into this commentary box, three words I never thought 
Odd here. Marvo <laughs> the Magician, where do you get that one from? Well, I'll tell you what, he's thinking about rolling up behind the, the green here, and if he does, the slate line is there, you can roll off line these shots. Karen Wilson won. Maybe what happened, I'm not sure. Uh, playing the plant, if nothing else but to clear the red from the pocket. Wow, that was an absolute mile away. Oh. And Karen just for old time's sake, another penalty. That was as bad as I've seen Ronnie O'Sullivan hit one for a while. <laughs> He's smiling, but he doesn't really have that kind of emotion. It's a sick smile. One. Bemused of Chigwell. Yeah, Karen Wilson gave Seven. 16 points away from those misses behind the yellow. Ronnie has been knocking balls into pockets, a couple of in-offs, a couple of, probably the blue, the green, everything. It's been a, a little bit of a scruffy performance from O'Sullivan so far. And it'll be compounded by the fact that Karen has got a chance to, to lead 3-1. Eight. He'd really like to t take the red that's near the black spot before he pots the black. That, of course, frees things up. If he takes the black first, then the black becomes safe if the red's still there. Brown ball. Twelve. Well, what you could do here is maybe try and move the red with the red he's going to pop. The red near the black spot. Surprised. 30. Black safe now. May not need it, but you'd prefer it to be in open play. There's not that many into this break. You know, we talked about the fact that O'Sullivan had won five of their previous seven meetings, which is true. But if you think about it, Wilson could easily have won on another two occasions. He lost 10-9 to O'Sullivan in the final of the Champion of Champions when he had chances in the penultimate frame to win 10-8. And what about the quarterfinals of the Shanghai Masters last year? Lost 6-5 from 5-1 up. So he's competed against the Rocket on several occasions. Yeah, that was the one in Shanghai. That was the match he should never have lost, really. That was the... The glaring error that he made. He had good chances Point. to win that comfortably. Point. 
21. Of course, Wilson has also seen O'Sullivan at his glorious best. The final of the 2017 English Open. O'Sullivan that day, even by his standards, was... otherworldly. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that uh, doesn't really need me to Thanks tell him how bad that shot was. He knows. I mean, you can't finish where he's finished, really. End up needing the spider for your next shot. He should be in, in better position than this. Karen Wilson, 27. Karen absolutely kicking himself there for not going on and winning the frame there when he had the opportunity. Problem red for Karen on that last shot and for Ronnie on this shot is the it's the red that's on the right cushion. It's kind of in the way of the safety shot back up and down when he's playing the red now. Got to avoid a double kiss here. Ooh, just. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be in front, Wilson, but what run has been going, I think he's at the lion's share. One. Yeah, yeah, Sullivan safety shot not quite right.
put it too thick, left that opportunity. Fifteen. O'Sullivan must be thinking he's going to be 3-1 down. Wilson was irritated he didn't win this frame. At his previous visit, 16. he'll be livid if he doesn't win the frame at this one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Well, it's hard to see how he won't go and win the frame here now. And I think if he did lead 3-1, that would be a fair reflection of what we've seen. It's not been without the odd mistake in both safety and potting. Twenty-nine. Sullivan hasn't really played very well, to be honest. Not yet. Kyron might have thought he'd have had to play better to lead 3-1 than he has. And that kind of opening to a match. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. And you just know his game won't fizzle 45. out. 46. 47. 53. Now Sullivan's wish now for this to be a match of two halves. Two distinct halves. 54. For him, the first has not gone well. Sixty-one. Sixty-three. Sixty-six. Wilson began with a hard-fought ninety-seven break. Seventy. Now he's into the seventies here. You get the feeling there could be lots of snooker left in this match. As we know, Sullivan has come from behind in matches against Karen Wilson before. Anyway, it's a good score on, I think, and a fair one. And yes, 3-1 to Wilson. 29. The thoughts of Alan McManus and Ken Doherty when we return after the break.
Yes, thanks, Jill. Well, it's clear Ronnie O'Sullivan is going to have to improve in all areas to turn this round. It's by no means, of course, beyond him and a little bit more wriggle room in these best of nines, but it's going to have to start pretty soon. Spot success down at 83%. Surely that's got to go up. Highest break, just 66. But also, Karen Wilson, if he gets the chance, has got to close it out. He was saying at the start about in the interview we saw about to the fact that he just hoped he could get to grips with the table. Well, that was put to bed, wasn't it, in frame one when he made a 97 break. Of course, O'Sullivan understandably has played his matches on the main table all week. One. So, a chance for Ronnie to get motoring in this match. He's not really had any great chances, you would say, at the at the starts of frames to score heavily. It's been a little bit ragged, and he's lost the cue ball here as well. It's okay, he's got the red to right middle. Four. Yeah, that's another poor cue ball, really, from someone from Ronnie's 11. class. You feel he's not been able to impose himself on this match yet, which is not something you see very often at all when Ronnie Sullivan's playing. Chance to go into the bunch here, guaranteed to be in the red to right corner. Again on another day. It wouldn't be awkward on this red. 19. It's just been that kind of night so far. 20. Yeah, 27. With a bit of distance and needing to be stunned a bit, a bit of power, he's, he's not looked comfortable at all, has he? <coughs> no, it's been a pattern to this evening and, you know, just thinking, you always sort of expect him to suddenly click into gear, but it doesn't mean it will actually happen. That was a chance. And so was that. Yeah, that was a real chance for Kyron. I always feel the frame after the interval is just as important to the person leading as the person who's behind in the match because you really want to keep the momentum going. 
and again another. Poor miss, you have to say. Just doesn't look with it, Ronnie. He's trying. It's not as if he's not bothered. He's definitely trying, but he just can't find that bit of inspiration so far. We saw similar though with John Higgins this afternoon. He, you know, didn't make a 40 break in that match with uh, Xiao Jing Tong. He still nearly won it. Went to a decider somehow. Xiao eventually got the win. So Wilson knows O'Sullivan, yes, he's struggling, but he's got to put him away. Instead, what he's done here is offer up another chance. One. Now, Judd Trump, 4-1 over Martin Gould, much closer frame than some of the others with the centuries, won it on the black, so 4-1 to Trump, one away from the semis. Five. Oh, lovely little shot. Screw around of two cushions for the blue. Fifteen. Sixteen. Can you see this like grimace? Not exactly where I wanted to put the cue ball. He's so precise with his positional play that he's just out by the 22. smallest fraction. It can be irritating. He's coming around to see the line of three reds. He's coming to see if the bottom one will pot to right corner. Then he can play a cannon on that little red to the left. It's away from the five. Beautiful. Twenty nine. Just feel if when he can 30. somehow just put every ball on the table now. It might give him a little bit of rhythm, that little bit of inspiration that I was talking about to go into the rest of the match. Well, this next red is frying ball. Wilson had chances. Sullivan had missed a couple. 35. But was presented with an opening. He's taken it well. 36. Forty. Another shot that was beautifully timed. Four, 
48. Yeah, timing's 49. the key, and it's just signs in his last sort of half a dozen shots. He's starting to get a bit of timing back. 56. 57 61 So it's a couple of misses early in the frame we're not punished 62 And this is the danger for Wilson okay O'Sullivan has started the match slowly but maybe he can only get better. 64. Yeah, there's no one in the game that can win batches of frames as quickly as Ronnie. It's 3 1 down, soon to go 3 2, but he could win this match 5 3 in the blink of an eye if he gets going. 66. Sixty-nine. Seventy-three. Well, we said his eye break would have to improve. It has done. Seventy-eight. Eighty-four. And problem the with the black, Ronnie so 84 Wilson. from Ronnie O'Sullivan, that's more like it from him. Wilson, though, did set up that chance after O'Sullivan and missed a couple at the start of the frame. And he won in it then, it's now 3-2. 6. Carl Wilson, Wilson leads Ronnie Frank. O'Sullivan 3-2. It was 3-1. O'Sullivan made 84 there to the pink to win the first after the interval. Winner plays Judd Trump and Martin Gould. 4-1 to Trump. Gould looking good though to win frame 6 there on table 2. Judd Trump actually asked where table 2 was. Because he hasn't played on there all week of course. But had a couple of centuries already this evening. Some of the uh, home nations and indeed the Eka Championship tournaments, of course, they have many more tables and uh, 
They really are anonymous. And on table six and seven. Not a lot of fun, really. Well, it wasn't so much fun for O'Sullivan. Could have been worse, I guess. Wilson's getting the long stuff out. Looks like he may be able to just play this gently and follow through for the black. Maybe a bit too much angle looking at that view. One. Well, he was able to play for the black, but there's going to be a little bit of pressure on this because you can see Jubal is going to be going into the other reds. He really has to get it. Played it very well. Touched the cannon to perfection. Eight. His big shot, wasn't it, after what happened in the last frame when he let O'Sullivan in. This time he was really punished for it. But this time he's in. Nine. I think one of Wilson's great traits is his self-belief. You know, he really believes he's a top player. He believes he has the right to be out there beating the top players. Remember the first time he got to the World Championship quarterfinals and someone said to him, because he got beat in the quarters. Someone said, well, you've had a great championship. He said, I haven't. I haven't won it. Good attitude. Fourteen. Never looked in. Karen Wilson, 14. Yeah, the dreaded D cell. You don't follow through the queue positively. One. And that's what happens. You miss it thin. But what a ball to miss. If Ronnie can somehow. Find a one visit. Eight. Win. You're right now. It's really going to hurt Nine. his opponent. And Ronnie knows that more than anyone. Yeah, same scenario as the last frame. He's been handed the opening. Sixteen. Seventeen. Awkward queuing, but just go 
concentrate 100% on keeping still. Put the pink guaranteed to be on the red. I'm at my drawing place. Sullivan uh, always does this thing when the referee has to get the pink back into position. He'll go and sit in his chair just to wait it out. Thank Tatiana Wollaston doing the business. What he's definitely been doing all night is competing, even if he didn't hit the heights pre-interval. No point did he show any signs of throwing in the towel. Thirty-nine. Ronnie Sullivan. Thirty-nine. Don't think I've ever seen Ronnie have to play so many awkward shots in one match as he has tonight. So many times he seems to be having to bridge over balls or you know, just have awkward shots. It's not been his best cue ball night. One. And that was nicely played. The double and the cue ball. Three. Well, he played the right shot, and you have to say he's a bit unlucky. Played the cannon well. Right there, there's Karen Wilson's strength. He just keeps putting himself out of trouble. Okay, he can lose a cue ball, but he somehow manages to keep breaks going. It was a lovely pot to the right middle. Yeah, I heard the guys uh, pre interval mention Peter Ebden, who he's known for a long time, and the sort of ball he might have knocked in. Gutsy pot. Ebden often sort of talked about as being a grinder, which of course he could be, but he'd also go for all sorts of balls. Six. Yeah, Kyron's a similar vein. Sometimes plays an, an unorthodox, or makes unorthodox shot choices at times. But yeah. You hear Karen Wilson's interviews and you close your eyes and you think it's Peter Ebden talking, very similar in their attitudes. Seven. Well, you need a bit of steel, of course, to be successful. 
in this sport is already, of course, missed in this frame and may well have thought he's going to level up here, but O'Sullivan missed that tricky one to the middle. Walker queuing. Oh, well, I only just went in. This is uh, a bit of a nervy part of the match, clearly. But it's gone 14. in. Fifteen. You could see the, the exhale when the cue ball came to stop because he's landed straight on the blue. Manufacture some sort of angle, but 20. here's a test for, as we said, putting himself out of trouble when he's lost the cue ball. Not this Carl time. Wilson, 20. Yeah, position play is what people sort of look at if they're looking for a slight weakness in his game compared to the other real top players. And, you know, you can't really say it's the table because, as I say, first frame, nearly had a century. <laughs> what a super pot. One. Beautiful opening red. Six. The blue actually wasn't too shabby either. Okay, it may look straightforward, but mm. tighten the jaw to judge the pace to land Seven. on this red. Just an Twelve. inch too short. So Playing this red into a blind pocket, which is never easy. You can see the pocket's not in his eye line. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 12. Mm. I think it's plain to see what he thinks of that shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Another chance then for Wilson. O'Sullivan struggling. Just threatening to come really good. Of course, made a good break in the last frame, but that went wrong again. Eight. Now, if he plays down to the blue, it'll be 13 in front with 13 on, so you will still need the pink. 16. We see that miss again, long way off. But I think for the last three or four weeks he's quite openly said that he's not been practising at all, hasn't he? And he's been getting results obviously through his sheer talent, I mean, how good he is, 18. but I think no matter how good you are, you've still got to put a bit of work in to get that sharpness. 
yeah, we saw the wheels come off a little against Mark Selby last Sunday in the Scottish Open final, 9-3 to Selby, who wasn't necessarily at his best all the way through. 21. So brown and blue, Sullivan can still tie. We'll need the pink. Twenty-five. Well, Sullivan looked disgusted with his miss, but this next shot will determine whether he gets another chance in the frame. Well, you can only tie, of course, with a respot. Black comes back on. Oh. My word. Karen Wilson, well, 30. Ronnie talk about careless. Six. Well, I, words escape me. How can the cue ball ever be going anywhere near that pocket? Wow, so Sullivan needs pink and black for the frame. Six. He's been handed to him on a plate. What a mistake from Wilson. The black didn't go in clean, but it went in. What a dramatic frame. Corin Wilson will be absolutely sick of what he did there. He's got to try and recover from it. Ronnie O'Sullivan then wins the first two after the interval. It's 3-3. Welcome back to the Marshall Arena here in Milton Keynes. Well, what a dramatic frame that was. This was the pink from Karen Wilson. And he sort of turns around and watches the white go in. He's left the pink to the middle. Remember, at that point, before the foul, O'Sullivan could only have tied. But obviously, with the six points, he could win. 
probably pink and black, although the black wasn't clean. And this, just in the last few seconds, Judd Trump has missed that, but miles in front in the frame. That was for victory over Martin Gould, 5-2. So Judd Trump, first man into the semi-finals. Gould did concede there, so first man into the semi-finals. Judd Trump will play the winner of this one. Now, chat between the players here. Well, what's happening now? Is it something to do with the watch? Ronnie's handing it to Rob Spencer on the marker's desk. Frame seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but Ronnie's taking his watch off. So there's some discussion between them. Hold on. Well, what a fluke. What a time yeah. to get it after that last frame. He shakes his head, but he'll be happy to see it go in. God in the watch, we understand, because O'Sullivan has been known to set it to time the ad break so he doesn't have to sit in his chair and apparently a, a beep or the alarm went off or something and Wilson heard it and has asked him to take it off, which he's done. Eight. There's always something happening, isn't there? <laughs> that you don't expect. I mean, the fact he knows how long Nine. the outbreaks are is impressive to start with. Anyway, it just shows you the, the tension out there. Wilson knows he threw that frame away, that last one. Bit of a test of character now to try and bounce back. Fourteen. Fifteen. And he's looking at the angle he wants because he's going to put the brown and take the cue ball off the side cushion just before the left middle pocket and go into the main bunch. Try and split the reds everywhere. Brown ball. Just below centre strike and left hand side. Mm, too much side on the cue ball. Does he still have a pot on to left middle? He's got possible Nine. red to the far right corner. Which he could play with an element of safety, screw back for the black, but he thinks he can get to this one. Twenty. Well, he's going to need a great shot now to keep this break going. Not sure if there's any plants or certainly no red spot on their own. So we're going to have to power the screen in. Bolt cushion, left side cushion. And into the left side of the bunch. Difficult to get enough pace in the cue ball to really open reds up. Fall. 
Karen Wilson, 20. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 4. The only good news is he didn't do that. He didn't leave anything on green flying off the table. Got to be said, Stephen, the, the last black from O'Sullivan wasn't clean, was it, in that last round? No, when he first hit it, I didn't think it was in. And I think he himself might have thought that he'd missed it. You could see he kind of puffed his cheeks out after he played it. He really does pot some balls, Karen Wilson. You can't leave him anything. One. Yeah, this is where his sort of bloody-minded attitude, I think, will uh, serve him well. He'll be really, really annoyed with what happened in the last frame, determined to put it right. Seven. Look, and I don't think he's got the angle to go into the res directly. And I'm not sure if he got the right angle to follow through of two cushions with top and left hand side. Come into the back of the bunch. So he's just playing for the single red and in potting this, he'll certainly be bringing I think at least one or two reds into play. I mean, he could just screw the cue ball through the gap and not move any reds at all and hope to get a nice angle on pink or black. But I think he'd, he'll definitely be looking to bring reds into play from this shot. Thirteen. He has brought one or two into the open, but he's not nicely in a colour. Pink is definitely tricky to right middle. Blue is a tester. Karen Wilson, 13. It always seems to be left with something difficult, which is the problem. Can't be expected to pop them all. Just just kind of away from the pink cue ball. Pink not his favourite colour right now. One. And O'Sullivan is sort of picking up the pieces. I mean he's clearly not happy with his game, but the fact is he's won the two frames after the interval. He's in again here, you can Eight. see Carl Wilson struggling. It's interesting when things go wrong, you do start to hear things. He heard Ronnie's watch, of course, no. the other day in the Scottish final. Ronnie said he could hear Mark Selby putting his glass of water down, all that sort of thing. Oh dear. Oh dear. 16. At least it wasn't enough. I thought that was going in. Well, that's 
a wonderful recovery. 17. I was just about to say, at least this shows how difficult a game snooker is. Because for the majority of a season, Ronnie Sullivan makes it look ridiculously easy. And it just shows you it's anything but. Now if this little cannon works out on the reds. Mm, he's going to need a gap. Has he got a gap? 23. Wow. The third red down in that line of three. Maybe then the closest one goes even. 24. Well, wow, what a chance to win three frames in a row. Yes, yeah, such a good recovery red when the cue ball was so close to going in the middle. Nice little shot into them. 30. Yeah, it was probably Ronnie's best pot of the night, that one, actually. That recovery red from you know, the middle pocket on the cue ball. 37 38 44 45 Karen Wilson will be very frustrated in his chair. He said it's not as if Ronnie's won these three 52. frames and not given Karen chances. All three has been 53. going to and fro between the players. Chances to win them. 52. It's not often you'll get as many chances as this against Ronnie O'Sullivan. 59. No, I mean, they played in the English Open final three years ago. O'Sullivan won 9-2, pot success 97%. Wilson just barely got a look in all day. This is different. He's had lots and lots of chances. 64. And certainly what happened at the end of that last frame now looks even more significant. Giving O'Sullivan these openings. 72. And whatever O'Sullivan thinks about his own performance, the fact is he's now in front in the match. Seventy-seven. Oh, sorry, seventy-three. Seventy-nine. So, the frame began with Wilson taking O'Sullivan's watch, but it ends with O'Sullivan taking the lead. Three in a row after the interval for the world champion. He's one away from a meeting with Judd Trump in the semi-finals. He leads by four frames to three.
so Ronnie O'Sullivan has won all three frames after the interval from 3-1 down he leads Karen Wilson 4-3 thank you one more and he's on Judd Trump here tomorrow Karen night Wilson. in the semi-finals been a pretty bruising post interval session of play for Wilson to say the least and he knows he's contributed to his own downfall here it's not too late though yet but he can't afford to just hand more chances to O'Sullivan because he was really struggling himself Mr Red in that sixth frame and looked like he might never pick himself up again that's how it's uh, played out after the interval in terms of points still struggling from distance only potted two out of nine long balls. And Wilson 42%, not particularly great either, but Ronnie O'Sullivan down at 22% in a match he could yet win. Well, another chance for Wilson. Wilson still has his watch on, at least. Seven. Eight. Good to see he's okay after that car accident. Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as it could have been the other day. But it affected him last week at the Scottish Open. Overall, he's been very consistent here in Milton Keynes. He did win the Championship League, which was a ranking event, beat Judd Trump in the final. Been a lot of talk about the big four at the moment Trump, Robertson, Selby, O'Sullivan, Wilson has been in the top four in the world this season. He'd love to. Just break into that little 15. pantheon. But you only do that by winning tournaments. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Karen Wilson, twenty-one. Well, that's yet another mistake, I'm afraid. It's been too many after the interval. Yeah, that was just pure and simple. Bad queuing. Eight. 
Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Coming round to see how close these two reds are. They've been a plant to the left corner. I don't think they're far away. Hmm, that's definitely makeable. Be surprised if he misses it actually, because he's coming from the right angle. Yeah, that was virtually unmissable. One. Not the worst kiss in the brown, raises his hand to his opponent. I think because he's so close to the brown, doesn't feel he can get the cue ball back down this end of the table, so he was looking there to leave a red from mid distance. It's about as good as he could do. Five. We know how good he is with this bit of equipment. That's yeah, very impressive. <laughs> Just keeps being left with missable pots. He's bodied quite a few tonight, he's missed a few as well. And it's horrible queuing as well. Karen Wilson, nine. Judd Trump gets the type of this match, he may not be too concerned. Of course, tomorrow is another day, whoever comes through. But remember, Trump had two centuries against Martin Gould. He smiles, believe it or not, that was a, a pot attempt there. He's just, his long game is just completely out of sorts tonight. One. Yeah, surely Karen can win the frame at this visit. My 
Looking at the cue ball, Eight. getting it clean, so intimating that it was a bad contact, heavy contact, stopped the momentum of the cue ball. Nine. Well, this is a real tightrope walk, isn't it? It's been like this really every time he's come to the table tonight. But he potted it, he didn't go in off, and he's on the blue. Fourteen. Well, we know he's good with the rest, but he just keeps putting himself under pressure, it seems, every shot. Particularly now, of course, he's potentially one shot from losing the match. Yeah, and he's missed. Well, he's had so many chances. Ronnie O'Sullivan evidently has not been at the top of his game, but he now has a chance potentially to win frame a match. Yeah, you can't keep being out of position and keep putting yourself out of trouble all night, it just, it just gets too difficult. One. Nine. Well, when it's a struggle, that's what happens on another day. You can in those two 16. reds and the cue ball stays down this end of the table. But both players tonight are just really struggling to get that cue ball under control. Mm, for once, Ronnie finds a long pot. But where's the cue ball? I think he actually was concentrating so much on potting the red that that, was, that took up all of his attention. Played this well. Doesn't use the rest that often actually, because of course Nine. he played left, right and left handed, but played that one really well. So there's one red on the left hand side cushion that at the moment is looking like Wilson's potential saviour. Although in this match, 20. who knows? There's been a lot of errors on both sides. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. 
Mm, this is the big shot now in this match. If you pop this red and flick the other one off the cushion, it could be all over. Mm, just a, must have been just a little bit too thin. Thirty-five. I caught in the red to be able to do that, and it looks to be pretty straight in the pink. So double to right middle pocket. Forty-one. Could be a match winner. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Forty-one. Yeah, the reason we don't like playing doubles is if you do miss it, you have no idea where the red's going to end up. Okay, it's a very easy snooker. You could push the red to the bulk end and cue ball in behind the blue. But there is a pot. Looks like he's playing the roll-up. Hmm, and you'll be horrified by that. If he loses this match, David, he won't have happy memories of this tournament this week. His first match went on at 10 to 11 <laughs> on table two. Second match, table two, and well, you have to say, he's thrown away a result here, really. And three went ahead. He's in complete control. Maybe he wished he'd stayed on table two now. Not over yet, but that was an opportunity to put O'Sullivan in trouble. Great Jimmy White has a term when it all gets edgy, Shredsville. And uh, quite often this season it's been twinned with Milton Keynes. Very risky if you want to take the pot on here because it's, because it's such a thin cut. If you get close to the pot, the red can stay over the pocket. So that's why he's playing the, the containing safety shot and he's played it well. Nice bit of running for Ronnie O'Sullivan. What a time to get a nice run of the ball. No problem hitting the red. But can Kyron get it safe? Well, a big shot, clearly. If he leaves it on, it's probably over. This time the snooker was played. Not so easy to hit this time.
the thing is if you play it on a slow pace, which you pretty much have to do because you don't want to leave a free ball, you know you're going to be in trouble after the next shot as well. So Ronnie Sullivan definitely got the upper hand at the moment. This is never going to reach. Well, the miss. Ronnie Sullivan, four. So back it goes, Tatiana Williston once again. Putting the cue ball back. This tense moment in a tense match. We can check. Can Rob, can I check well, this? Understandable, I suppose, at this point to check with the marker Rob Spencer on the freeze frame. Ronnie Sullivan, four. Even further away this time. I can't believe Ronnie's not putting the cue ball back. Okay, we can I suppose quite comfortably lay another snooker, but you'd be sure that Karen Wilson would overcompensate possibly the next time and hit it a bit harder. If he gets a double kiss and the red, he leaves it onto the green pocket, so... Surprised at this. And Kyle Wilson must be a huge sigh of relief. Yeah, I mean, as Sullivan has said, he's not always a big fan of the miss rule, but he had it put, put back the first time. Wilson played a very similar shot the second time, and then he didn't. He didn't get him in trouble, really. Obviously felt the safety shot was as difficult as a pot, so went on the, the offensive. He's actually been a little bit unlucky not to be nicely on a colour, to get on the yellow. When you consider though that his long game tonight has not been firing at all, suddenly digs that one out. And another very good pot on the yellow. 16 in front then. Three. Still needs yellow, green and brown. You can play for left, middle or the green pocket here. Five. That's beautifully played. Well, I don't know what... Certainly not Ronnie's A game tonight. I don't know what letter it is, but it's certainly nowhere near his best. But it looks like getting the W. Eight. What he has shown, though, is a terrific will to win. Yes, he's got frustrated at times, but you know, he's come back and just made enough of these chances. In goes the brown. Karen Wilson has got Twelve. to be sick. He'll look back on that sixth frame when he went in off the pink. A lot of mistakes from him. A match to forget, really, 17. having led 3-1. O'Sullivan, you've got to say, was there for the taking, but it's going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan. 
Moving on to the semi-finals. 23 frame in a match, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, so Ronnie O'Sullivan you. will play Judd Trump in the first semi-final of the World Grand Prix. It might not have been vintage, but he dug in, potted a terrific red there at the end of that eighth frame. O'Sullivan beats Karen Wilson 5-3.